ফেসবুকের Today our program was supposed to start at 6 o'clock but it got delayed my sincere apologies on behalf of our center the reasons are two our guest speaker our vitreoretinal surgeon dr shubhrata mondol was engaged in a very complex vitreoretinal surgery in the operation room and the surgery got delayed plus there was some technical hitch when we just uh, sat down and started doing it there was a small technical hitch which all got corrected once again my sincere apologies ajker ajker alochcho bishoy as as announced earlier is age related macular degeneration eta ki keno ebong ki korte hoy eta eglo amader bolar jonno ba apnader ke shonanor jonno amader shonge amaderi vitro retinal surgeon consultant dr subrata mondol jake ami onek onek bochor theke chini a very young talented highly talented extremely extremely good surgeon and extremely good clinician uni amader ei sunetro family i care center e goto 10 bochor jabot amader vitreoretinal surgeon consultant consultant hoye achen uni ajke amader shonge achen uni kolkatari chhele nilratan sarkar medical college er mbbs tar pore delhi all india institute of medical sciences e md korechen in ophthalmology ওখানে রেটিনা ফেলোশিপও করেছেন তারপরে উনি এফআরসিএস করেছেন এডেনবরা থেকে এবং উই আর ভেরি ভেরি প্রাউড টু বি অ্যাসোসিয়েটেড উইথ হিম ইন আওয়ার সেন্টার এবং আমি আমার সমস্ত পেশেন্টদের বলি যে আগামী দিনে ঠাকুর না করুক আমার নিজের ফ্যামিলিতে যদি কাউরির রেটিনার কোনো প্রবলেম হয় তাহলে আমি সুব্রত ছাড়া আর কাউরের কাছে আমার আত্মীয়কে নিয়ে যাব না হি ইজ এ মোস্ট রিলায়েবল ভেটরেটিনাল কনসালটেন্ট সুব্রত most welcome to this wonderful show thank you thank you so nice word from you hi it is not very good thank you thank you amader sathe jehetu deri hoye gache amra let's get on to business amader topic for discussion today is armd age related macular degeneration ta tumi ki kono chobi tobi kichu toiri korecho jeta amader viewers der dekhale subidha hobe bojhate yes 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 I have some presentation. I have made some pre- made a pre- small presentation. I want to show. I want to uh, share. Sure. Okay. Can, can you can can you switch it on, please? Tale ota pujay dekhe subida hobe. Amar to mona hai je amra jokon age related macular degeneration niye kotha bolchi. Tokon er maneta jodi amra dekhi. Tale prothom je duoto shobdo royeche age related. তো এজ রিলেটেড তো বোঝাই যাচ্ছে যে বয়সকালে হবে সেই জন্য এজ রিলেটেড বলা হচ্ছে আর তারপরে রয়েছে ম্যাকুলার ডিজেনারেশন তো ম্যাকুলার ডিজেনারেশন আমাদের এর আগে যে কটা সেশন হয়েছে তাতে রেটিনা নিয়ে আমরা অনেকবারই কথা বলেছি তাতে ম্যাকুলা কি জিনিস আমরা বুঝিয়েছি তবুও আজকের আজকের আলোচনাতে প্রথমেই আমি তোমাকে সাজেস্ট করব যে আমাদের শ্রোতাদের জন্য ভিউয়ারদের জন্য যদি ম্যাকুলা এবং ম্যাকুলার ডিজেনারেশন জিনিসটা একটু একটু ইন্ট্রোডাকশন হিসেবে বুঝিয়ে দাও তারপরে তোমার স্লাইড গুলো দেখাও তাহলে ভালো হয় ওকে ওকে নাও आवर মেইন টপিক টুডে ইজ এজ রিলেটেড ম্যাকুলার ডিজেনারেশন বাই দা ওয়ার্ড ইট সেজ কি উইথ এজ आवर ম্যাকুলা গেট ডিজেনারেটেড লাইক উই গেট উইথ এজ आवर স্কিন বিকাম রিঙ্কলড উই বিকাম উই গো বলনেস ইজ देयर our hearing capacity get lost decrease so there is vision problem because of macular degeneration now for in ophthalmology we know the common causes of visual visual loss are cataract mainly there may be some class power changes mainly cataract we know but other than cataract and or uh, some corneal problem or glaucoma problem there are so many retinal problems are there it can cause our vision loss some are gradually some cause sudden loss of vision now uh, this is the how normal our normal retina look like 
this is the normal retina this is our optic nerve that is the nerve from this is the retina and the center portion of the retina this is called fovea and area around this is called macula that is the central portion of the retina is called macula this is the macula this is the most sensitive part of the retina and the image formed in the center part of the retina is the sharpest brightest and best whatever we see if, if our this center portion is good we see the image as a clear image sharp image if there is any distortion in the center portion or it get degenerated or any pathologies which causes some changes in the center portion our vision get deteriorated so this is the how normal retina looks like it is orange look with aging there are some abnormal deposition mainly lipoprotein deposition these are called so there are some abnormal deposition in this area which causes this smoothness of the retina the smoothness of the macula get lost so the image quality imagine you have gone to a theater and the screen is not smooth it is wrinkled so we cannot see the image properly same is here whatever image uh, is formed in the macula we perceive uh, the image like that only so if it is very smooth the image will be very good if it is distorted the image will be very low so i will show you how in age related macula degeneration this macula get degenerated in subsequent slides ekta interrupt korchi subroto मन हलो जो स्टूडेंट छूडेंट छूबी रेयर इनफैक्ट जो एक आसत तक सर प्रफेसर सबाई के डे देखा तो हाँ ए आर एम डी तुम्हारे समय तुम्हारा जो करो बेसिंग नाउ इट इज we find that every day in our outpatient we see 3 to 4 armd patients they are so common nowadays tumara ki tai mone hoy na definitely definitely sure if I, uh, the reason is previously the average life expectancy was not much it is below 60 and by definition age related macular degeneration starts after 50 so maybe okay. there was some little uh, little less uh, prevalence of age related macular degeneration earlier another day, uh, important is that there was no treatment available so uh, whenever a doctor diagnosed this a case of armd he would tell the patient that there is no treatment available so nothing to do nothing can be done you will be or will be uh, as it is but yeah. now it is, there are so many treatment available they are getting referred to our center and uh, the life expectancy has increased to 70s uh, so we are getting much more patient uh, of is related macular degeneration nowadays and yeah. other thing the patient are now more demanding they care for their vision the, uh, the uh, previously uh, many a patient uh, live with not uh, subnormal vision but if nowadays the quality of patient general population has improved and they yeah. want a very good vision also so there are multifactorial cause that uh, uh, that is the reason nowadays we see much more rm depression uh, than earlier okay okay next and this uh, uh, this is actually uh, the slide with increasing life expectancy not only is related macular degeneration in any other fraternity like old days you see cancer osteoporosis in female and uh, uh, other is related degeneration like dementia parkinson neurological disorder everything is increasing with life expectancy same is with uh, is related macular degeneration the problem right. with is related macular degeneration is it involves the central portion of the retina central portion that is the macula and fovea the main is to what whenever we focus with our eyes the macula is the focusing point so most distressing about amd is Patient cannot see what they want to see. Whenever they focus a point, and that focusing point get distorted because that is the uh, point uh, which is focused on the macula, and macula is dis uh, disorganized or degenerated. So this is very distressing. Whatever it, uh, you will be able to see the uh, image just uh, side to the focusing point, but not the fo exact focus point. So very quality of life becomes too much worse 
even it is worse than COPD, even AIDS patients. That is, say, is the quality of some bilateral, particularly if ARMD is bilateral, then the quality of life becomes very worse. Correct. Now, because they uh, can't see properly, they can't read, they can't see, they can't even identify some faces of even familiar uh, person also. Correct. These are the some symptoms. The main symptoms is first of all, it starts with the blood vision. Yes, and we have some metamorphopsia. Metamorphopsia means the image get distorted. Somehow it is smaller, somewhere it is bigger. So it is uh, some zigzag or distorted. Spotoma means there is nothing. It is a uh, non-visible portion in the visual field. That is called spotoma. Another thing is the decreased reading speed. Now, the, because of uh, uh, decreased quality of the uh, uh, vision, patient cannot read quickly. They take much more time to read it. And if there is a sudden bleeding or rupture or something, emergency happen in the macula which causes acute events, then there may be sudden diminution of vision also. Okay. Now, what are the signs? The patient comes with these symptoms. What will she? Now I have shared, uh, shared this normal retina. Unit perfect orange look. This is the optic nerve. This is the blood vessels. The beautiful thing, these are the retinal blood vessels. This is the uh, artery. This is the vein. This is the macula. And it is a smooth. The image will be formed perfect. Now what happened in isolated macula? You see, a lot of nonsense are there. These are yolo yolo deposits. These are called brushen. And here you see central portion is totally at top width. There is no photoreceptor from uh, which absorb the light and uh, transfer the image to our brain. So there is no photoreceptor. Central portion is already at top width. This is geographical atrophy. Patient will not be able to see with this uh, this portion. He will be able to see with this portion where the image quality is much less. And you see there are a lot of brushes which has mixed with one another and it has caught Subrusion and brusion at elevation PV, uh, PED. And this is the see after a complication and uh, bleeding or whatever may be, it has formed a scar. And it is a totally a dead tissue in the retina. Everything is normal, but central portion is totally damaged. So the patient will not be able to see with this eye. She will just uh, have uh, hand movement vision or can movement right or left. Some is, something is there, but no valuable vision will not be there in this Correct. case and these are the some other there are a lot of variation in presentation of the macular features by examination and investigation and with experience we can see what are these these are some here are speed elevation there is a red color this red color you see this is the hemorrhage there is lots of exudation dirty fluid collection beneath the retina and there is also some hemorrhage and this is card information so these are some uh, various features what we see on examination of the retina. Now, how we classify isolated macular degeneration? Basically, isolated macular degeneration are two types. One is the dry form, one is the wet form. Dry form means when it is atrophied and gradually degenerated. Wet form by uh, what only meaning it says, there are some fluid, yes, the retina is Either there is collection of fluid beneath the retina or within the retina, or there is some blood, blood, bleeding. So either it is a fluid or there is a hemorrhage, then it is called exudative ARMD. Dry ARMD usually has good vision until there is total atrophy of the central portion of the vision. And it causes gradual loss of vision. But problem is that we don't have much treatment option for dry ARMD. On the other hand, weight RMD causes sudden diminution of vision because acute collection of fluid or there is a bleeding, there will be sudden diminution of vision. But one important thing is we can we have some treatment for weight RMD, though ultimate visual outcome may be poor. So I have some have to interrupt for, I for from the point of view of a lay person, mm -hmm. uh, dry or wet ball, Dutor Monte Conta Bishi Kotikaro. Bole Shadaran Loke Bujweba uh Mone Korbe. Mane dry tattoo bolleje uh khub beshi damage korche na kintu setar kono treatment on a central portion uh involved bullet of vision to lay a wet hot at vision um not preparedche among kitchen treatment ache. 
দুটোর মধ্যে কোন দিকে বেশি ক্ষতি করে ওয়েট আরএমডি ডাজন্ট স্টার্ট সাডেনলি টু বিগিন উইথ ইট স্টার্টস উইথ ড্রাই আরএমডি অনলি আলটিমেটলি বিগিন উইথ ইট ড্রাই আরএমডি উই হোপ টু ইচ ড্রাই আরএমডি রিমেইন ড্রাই আরএমডি এন্ড লেস অ্যাট্রফিজ আর देयर দ্যাট ইজ দ্য অনলি অপশন ইভেন ড্রাই আরএমডি গেট দ্য সেন্ট্রাল পোরশন গেট অ্যাট্রফিড কুইকলি দেন देयर ইজ হোপলেস নো ট্রিটমেন্ট ইজ अवेलेबल so Correct. ultimate outcome whether it is dry or wet ultimate outcome depends on how the central macula remains viable photoreceptor remains viable so even it is dry and central macula is uh, lost then it has no value on Correct. the other hand it is a wet md wet md and we treat it and uh, after treatment macula is relatively cool then result may be very good Correct. so ultimately it is not only the dry or wet total total evaluation is required what is the ultimate retinal photoreceptor how how the functional photoreceptor viable photoreceptor are there or not that is the most important thing i think there are some other classification depends on the angiography fluorescence angiography optical coherence tomography icg these are the some names of some important investigation for the retinal disorder but i think that uh, now it is it is more of clinical and um, uh, for importance for research purpose or clinical and uh, uh, in this discussion we can avoid that now what investigations we do with in patients of rmd for documentation we must do one fundus photography Correct. serial fundus photography particularly rmd can show whether the drusions are increasing or not retinal photoreceptor damage atrophy whether they are increasing in size or not what is the look of the fundus we can explain to the patient that uh, it is static or not whether it is deteriorating or not unlikely though there is improvement but sometimes it becomes stable and there is no further degeneration oct is now is important oct is optical coherence tomograph it's like a slice scan a previous we you know histopathological examination after any tissue excise from our body if we see under microscope we can see each and every cell layer by layer the beauty of oct is we can see exactly same about the retina without excision just with the machine instrument we can take the cut section and examine each and every layer their look their structure their uh, surroundings whether they are absolutely normal or no, any deviation from the normal we can see ocd that is the most important investigation for any retinal disorder nowadays and it's a very common routine examination we do ocd ta hocche onekta ekta mane kata chhara na kore biopsy er moto hoy jeshto amra ekta biopsy kore nilam tissue biopsy kono kata chhara korte holo na amra ekta just light dilam ekta light diye amra puro chokher ekdom section amra share korbo amra slide dekhabo kemon ocd dekhte hoy ekdom histological examination of retina er ekta prottekta layer by layer amra eigulo dekhte pao correct लिकिंग etc 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 so that shows the retinal circulation that is called fundus fluorescence angiography gross oct angiography is the uh, most uh, improved uh, version now it is i would say the most important and advanced technology in which without injecting a dye we can uh, evaluate retinal and other deeper layer vascular uh, uh, blood supply that's the very important beauty of this is we don't need angiography just take fundus photograph with machine and we can see the retinal circulation icg angiography eta oct eta onekta tomar ekhon cardiac bodha ct angiography angiocity hocche na ek i rokom exactly exactly previously dye was injected and you can see the cardiac vascularization and now it is we do only ct angio it's almost similar to akin to ct angio right correct <laughs> icg angiography mean in this and in green angiography that the name of the dye is icg it helps to evaluate the deeper layer of the retinal vessels 
আমরা হয়তো জানি যে রেটিনার ভেতরেও আর একটা লেয়ার আছে সেটা হচ্ছে আমাদের চোখের মিডল লেয়ার তাকে বলে কোরয়েট আর তার বাইরেতে আমাদের সাদা লেয়ারটা থাকে তাকে বলা স্ক্লেরা এবং আমার চোখের তিনটে লেয়ার থাকে ওই মিডল লেয়ার যেটা কোরয়েট সেইটার ব্লাড ভেসেলস এর স্টাডি করতে গেলে আমরা আইসিজি আঞ্জোগ্রাফি করি হুম আর অটো ফ্লোরেসেন্স হচ্ছে এটাও একটা বেসিক্যালি এ ফান্ডাস ফটোগ্রাফ বাট अकॉर्डिंग টু দা প্রেজেন্স অফ डिफरेंट ফ্লোরেসেন্স ক্যাপাসিটি डिफरेंट ডিজিজ অর নরমাল রেটিনাল স্ট্রাকচারস Flores differently and gives us valuable uh, 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 research for a dry AMD journal or a Kobe valuable. Beautiful. I'm a lot of the power. It's very easy to uh, tell the person to make them understand what is happening there. Hmm. Right. Now I will show you some photographs. See, this is the fundus fluorescence angiography with this angiography. You see, this is the retinal nerve, optic nerve. This is the retinal vein and artery, and this is the new thing, exactly in the central of the macula, central of the fovea. So it is a subfovial ARMD corridor neovascular membrane. New blood, new vessel membrane has formed, which is leaking and full of uh, dye. This is another. This is the center portion, but the abdominal membrane is just. Beside the uh, center portion is not exactly the center portion. It is called juxtaphobia, and this is the extraphobia. This is the center portion, and there is a relatively normal area between the center and this abnormal membrane. So it is extraphobia. The importance of location is this causes maximum damage of vision. As you know, this is affecting the center portion. So this will cause most deterioration of the vision. and this will have some moderate effect on vision and this will have mild diminution of vision so the results will be very good in this this will be moderate and this is a poor result and another to see how is the uh, characteristic of the membrane whether this is a classic membrane perfect border margin this is a clear cut margin and here you see there is some clear margin here there is no clear cut margin and in this there is no clear cut margin at all where the membrane is we don't know this local prognosis is good in this moderate in this bad in this though vision is good initially here and vision is bad initially there but ultimately it is reached the difficult to treat resistant to treat and this responds very well with the treatment now icg hello that is there ha bolo 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 this is these are the features of icg icg you can see there are deeper layer problem this is the retinal blood vessels and these are the corridor blood vessels it is behind the retina hmm. so these are the importance of identifying these are these are the basically difficult to treat with the conventional treatment sometimes we may have to do laser to this extra extra uh, fovea or extra macular polyps these are ইন্টারেস্টিং we treat with now antibiotic most uh, mostly now coming to the our most important instrument that is for optical coherence tomography this is the must treatment for evaluation management follow up everything we can identify the presence of cndm we can identify the location of membrane we can i tell about the type of membrane any other associated clinical feature we are looking for because we uh, we have to tell the patient whether the uh, ultimate visual outcome is um, favorable or poor whether he may require multiple injection or maybe uh, the treatment may be completed within three or four injection etc so there are some whatever uh, uh, markers are there we can identify with this optical coherence tomography and it is very very easy to tell the patient to show the patient ki how it is improving correct now these are the first first initial stages of dry rmd drusen deposition now you see there are some bumpy elevation of the retinal deeper layer this is these are called this is drusen 
गुड इमेज will complain of uh, meta uh, abnormal vision uh, metamorphosia or scotoma maybe and these are the occult uh, cnbm there is collection of fluid so again there will be a, a vision will not be good there will be distortion of the vision correct there are the type of cnbm we can see this is the most deeper this is the middle layer and something it may be here also it is called type intra retinal আচ্ছা এগুলো যখন যখন বোঝাচ্ছ একটুখানি আমি জাস্ট বলে দিই দর্শকদের জন্য এই যে সি এন ভি এম বলে যে টার্মটা ইউজ করা হচ্ছে সেটা ম্যাকুলার ডিজেনারেশনেরই একটা বিশেষ ধরনের একটা ফর্ম যেখানে রেটিনার ডিপার লেয়ারসে একটা অ্যাবনরমাল ভ্যাসকুলার বা ব্লাড ভেসেল সময় একটা মেমব্রেন ফর্ম হয় যে ভিশনটাকে নষ্ট করে দেয় এটাকে বলে করয়ডাল নিওভাসকুলার মেমব্রেন করয়ডাল নিওভাসকুলার মেমব্রেন so okay. when there is exaggerated macular degeneration basically there is loss of blood supply atrophy there is ischemia hypoxia so under the choroid from under the choroid new vessels appear to supply as if it is trying to help the retina to get oxygenated to get oxygen but mm. un- unfortunately these blood vessels are too much leaky and very fragile they leak a lot and they rupture easily so they actually though their aim was to help the retina but ultimately causes harm mm. so this is called choroidal neovascular membrane and once there is a choroidal neovascular membrane the dry rmd is now called wet rmd oh. and our aim is to destroy this choroidal neovascular membrane by any method laser injection whatever may be we have to remove this because this choroidal neovascular membrane are abnormal leaky blood vessels and they rupture easily causes a lot of problem these are the choro- how choroidal neovascular membrane looks like this is the exam center phobia just beneath the phobia this is the center of the phobia so it is a juxta phobia and this is the extra phobia this is the phobia this is the extra phobia so vision will be very good here this it will uh, complain of uh, distortion of the vision just away from the center maybe superior up, uh, up have uh, right left or below the focusing point and here there will be vision problem but not like a uh, maximum vision problem but here will be moderate vision problem now these are some another other clinical features associated with armd there are a lot of variation in the clinical features we see it we document it we see it uh, for after uh, uh, follow up treatment with uh, how it is progressing whether it is deteriorating or not and explain to the patient accordingly mm. the one thing is uh, as you know the ac related macular degeneration is an ongoing process there is probably there will be no end the degeneration will continue so long term follow up is required counseling mm. of the patient is most important eh? other features of uh, um, uh, parotid neovascular membrane in ocd is sometimes fluid there is collection of the intraretinal fluid cystoid space there is a totally disorganization of the internal structure of the retina there may be uh, precipitation deposits those are the signs of poor prognosis now this is the modern ocd this is the uh, heidelberg ocd we have here at sunetro we can see with the resolution of the srfr that there is no fluid now there is a fluid there is no fluid this is the resolution decrease in the retinal thickness once there is a fluid wet air and there is not get thickened so with treatment it is thickness reduces and that is the one parameter for Uh, to see the follow up response mm-hmm. then phobia looks like a normal phobial contour distortion of the phobial contour whether it is not or not we can see whether this formation of fibrosis scar or any fluid for the treatment is required not everything we can see with the this simple optical coherence tomography uh, investigation which i have told you it is like a, a, a in vivo biopsy 
uh, in this slide, uh, the last slide, just show the last slide. The uh, kind Duto patient is your city, the Hano H. Tacta patient. It's called the presenting of OCT, and we have treated with, the, uh, with anti phasic injection and beautifully resolved. Beautiful resolved. Good. Excellent You're improvement, right. Right. excellent improvement. Uh, both, the, both the patients are very happy. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, let's see how follow up responses are there, whether there is recurrence or not. We'll see. Sometimes uh, this membrane gets ruptured and causes. Uh, sudden diminution of vision. This is a bad complication to have, and we don't have treatment for this rupture. Retina gets ruptured. One layer of the retina gets ruptured here, and so there is a sudden diminution of vision. But we don't do anything. We can't do anything for this. Now, as I told you, OCT angiography is now very important because uh, previously with OCT we had to do fundus portion angiography to study the retinal vasculature, but to study the retinal vasculature, we have to inject the dye, which has some complication. We need a renal absolutely healthy uh, systemic, uh, there should not be any systemic problem. Kidney function should be normal, and uh, uh, patient may uh, have some complication. So the OCT angiography now is very helpful for those patients. Without injecting a dye, we can study the vasculature, retinal vasculature and the choroidal vasculature. Each and every layer, how vasculature looks like, we can see this OCT, with OCT angiography. It is akin to CT angio, what cardio people do. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, come, these are the, some investigation. Now, I will want to I want to tell some, uh, what are the treatment options available. As I have told you, the age-related macular degeneration, you cannot stop the age. Age will be increasing, so the degeneration will be ongoing. Our aim is at least to decrease the speed of deterioration. So how we can decrease the speed of deterioration? So many researches are going on, so many researches have been done. The thing is in dry RMD, something prophylaxis, basically it is the age-related degeneration, oxidative damage. So main important to decrease the speed of deterioration is antioxidant. Prophylaxis is antioxidant. And I have told you a dry RMD converted to wet RMD when there is a new vessel formation or a new vessel formation. That is called angiogenesis. Angiogenesis means no tool for blood vessels. We have to prevent angiogenesis. That is called anti angiogenesis. That is the main important. In dry RMD, we have to prophylactic treatment, and in wet RMD, anti angiogenesis this is the basic of the treatment now in case when we are come across with a patient with a dry rmd we have to rule out whether it is actually dry or there is some form of wet rmd is there because wet rmd it is treatable so we have to rule out cnvm with oct oct angiography or ffic angiography whatever it is. then we have to prevent further progression with antioxidant we have to give dead maximum vision, whatever possible with best possible refraction or some low vision aids. Psychological counseling is very important. I have told you the patient with ARMD has some central vision problem, so they are psychologically very disturbed. Counseling is most important. And Amstar grid is the grid by which you can have a screen at home whether your dry ARMD is converting to a wet ARMD or not. Very important. Now, in dry RMD, this is the most important slide. Before you getting uh, 50 years of age, you have to think because this related macroarthritis starts after 50 years of age. Do not smoke. Absolutely no tobacco. I always tell my patient, yeah, I hate smoking and I hate smoker. Mm -hmm. You have to do regular exercise to keep you fit and healthy. Good vegetables, fruits every day. One fruit every day. Any fruit, seasonal fruit. It may be banana, it may be cucumber, it may be apple, whatever maybe. Every day, one fruit. And once you are diagnosed with a dry RMD, this is the Amstrad kit, how it looks like. You have to examine every Sunday with one eye closed and look at the center point whether this perfect square is actually square or it is getting distorted like this. Once there is a distortion, there is chance you may have advanced dry RMD or you are actually converting to a 
quick form of RMD, and you need argent ophthalmic product, high surgeon consultation. Leave it. This slide, leave it. There are so many studies we saw. If you give antioxidant, it re reduces the speed of deterioration. We are uh, always prescribe antioxidant. There are so many antioxidants available in research also, in fruit. But in uh, medicine form, we definitely prescribe one antioxidant once we diagnose the case of carrot. One a bit. Now in weight AMD, what is the treatment? Previously, there was not much treatment available. Before 1980s, no, no treatment. Even in between 1980s to 2000, only laser. Exactly. Now, Up to 2000, uh, also, we have to modify your lifestyle and uh, get used to it. it took uh, and at that point, whatever we have done, laser treatment, the result outcome are very poor. Now, yeah. I think we should forget those days. Correct. Now, then came PDT. PDT is basically vertiporphin therapy. We give one dye which is concentrated in the retinal abnormal blood vessels. Then we stimulate the blood vessels with laser, and these uh, blood vessels ultimately get destroyed. There, is, there were some little hope, hope. It definitely had some results, but visual improvement was not much. Whatever visual deterioration was there, but it, the ultimate visual gain improvement it was not there with pdt mm. then ultimate results came at 2006 with the availability of ranibizumab mm -hmm. it revolutionized the treatment of prmd here and then we have treated so many patients so many happy patients so many there are unhappy patients also because of the nature of the disease you know it is progressing but basically, after 2006, there are so the treatment has revolutionized the treatment. Um, the ranibizumab has revolutionized the treatment of RMD. Then simultaneously, vevacizumab was available here 2006. That is another anti-vegetative injection. Then came afibercept, and just recently, one another addition is brolocizumab. Beautiful. We have now so many treatment available. Some injection, some uh, injection may be uh, better in some patients, some may not be. So we have core five options. We can switch it, whichever which is uh, to see which drug is better working for a particular patient, and we can treat accordingly. Now see, these are the some patients. This is the retina. This is the blood vessels, macula, subcobial CLVM. With treatment, it has formed a scar. Now there is no blood vessels. Now, disease has stopped progression. Now, vision is less, but it is stable and much better than the present vision. So, okay. patient basically uh, may not be that happy, but it is good to have a good vision. Okay. Now, intravital avastin. The avastin is a wonderful drug, I must say. It is very cheap. Results are also encouraging, but problem is it is it is the off level use off level mm. because no studies or approval has been uh, taken for intravital avastin but the molecule is similar to ranibizumab and uh, it works equally so we are using avastin in rmd also with good results we explain the patient that there is off level use and definitely with from single injection we give it to multiple patients Poster also less, but results are good. Uh, I'm uh, 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 in that hospital. That was long ago, must be ten years to Hoi Gachin history. Every day, injection. Every day, although although it was as you said, it is not officially approved. fellowship program. actually US FDA approval So even there, the surgeons are using Avastin at the maximum money off level. So Avastin are using. 
খুবই র্যাম্পেন্ট দিয়ে যায় the cost of other injection antivisif are higher so many patients that they are many patients require multiple injection many patients cannot simply afford the cost of the treatment you know Correct. the patients are already retired now i my i have some personal experience i started using avastin in 2006 at ems new delhi Achha. what we used to do with this vial this is a 4 ml vial we used to do 20 aliquot formation in our own pharmacy to were sent to microbiological examination and rest were is a patient and the result has been published in different index journal almost eight paper has been published with avastin only during my uh, research and study period at ems and the okay. result was very good ha uh, we yeah. can start avastin in treatment of rmd my name is available uh, in the uh, net there are so many at least eight paper i have published correct very good amra to ekta use kore onek use Uh, there are so many forms of cnbm we have, uh, we have studied it in each and every form of cnbm sir retinal vascular occlusion also and the results are good and uh, recently there are so many studies are available which are also showing the results of avastin is equal to other anibizumab or anything else absolutely it is it's non inferior and this, this is my one of the oldest patient i have, i was uh, telling you I, in 2006 this, this is a 2007 photograph now this is a beautiful improvement now this is the presenting vision there are a lot of drusion hemorrhage this is the cortical membrane and vision is very less only 4 by 60 and you see how it has improved now you cannot see even trace of hemorrhage or membrane is very small and vision is 6 by 12 is 80 percent and here vision was less than 10 percent mm, so 6 by 12 is very good vision very good this vision. is this is with avastin you see the photograph here is the fundus photograph and this is after one year Do how many injections were, were needed in this case i think three three intravitreal avastin three only three only three, only only three. three. Uh, hmm. monthly inject monthly injections right monthly injection like the monthly injection excellent, excellent. july june july august september october november december this is the first injection second injection third injection okay only start already start very good excellent now you can tell me which one is better there are so many injection aflibarsep currently available as ailia bevacizumab which you know avastin brolicizumab which is uh, available as pegenex is the newest addition and uh, ranibizumab which was most widely used as approved drug that is eccentrix and also there is ranibizumab biosimilar azumab indian product Mm. that is also equally good so studies says the, all these injections are have almost equal result maybe little bit less but statistically for statistics says the difference are not significant now if you ask me what is the cost that till few months back the cost of the aflibarsep was the highest then brolicizumab then ranibizumab then bevacizumab now cost of aflibarsep has reduced a lot during mm. uh, few months back because there are some options mm -hmm. if you say efficacy my experience i don't know maybe aflibarsep ranibizumab bevacizumab this may be uh, the uh, sequence and we are expecting brolicizumab to be good but as i told you it there is no statistical significance between any of the drugs but most equal maybe one or two or two later difference between the uh, drugs but the most important thing is you at least you give injection you proper injection whatever injection you give that is not a problem you give at the earliest diagnosis you give at regular interval that is four weeks and follow properly and the monthly injection monthly injection, monthly injection. Huh? Monthly injection. আমরা অলওয়েজ ইন মাল্টিপলস অফ 3 ব্যবহার করি সাধারণত যে তিনটা তিনটা করে তাই তো থ্রি ইনজেকশন এন্ড ইফ রিকোয়ার রেগুলার ইনজেকশন এন্ড মেইনটেনেন্স ইনজেকশন ইজ রিকোয়ার টু মেইনটেইন এ গুড ভিশন আচ্ছা এই যে তুমি এতগুলো মলিকিউল বললে যে डिफरेंट डिफरेंट মলিকিউল ডিপেন্ডিং অন দা এক্স্যাক্ট नेचर অফ দা ডিজেনারেশন বা তার ক্লিনিক্যাল ফাইন্ডিং এবং তার ইনভেস্টিগেটিভ যে ফাইন্ডিং আছে তুমি কি কোন সময় চুজ করোনা যে কোন মলিকিউলটা ওই پیشنটের ক্ষেত্রে বেটার 
in in my practice the we starts with ranibizumab or bevacizumab listen ha huh? okay. in a fresh case of rmd starts with ranibizumab bevacizumab absolutely it is affordability of the patient affordability mm -hmm. if patient can afford starts with ranibizumab Okay. Now, if it doesn't respond with this injection, we go with the final molecules. Basically, the mode of action is equal with all these drugs. With the research, the molecule has been just refined. Mm -hmm. This is the crude form. This is the better form. This is finer. This is the finest. Okay. 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 So, uh, what treatment do you choose? But at least you choose something. Correct. Now you you, you were told uh, telling that uh, most of the uh, doctors in Africa or US are using Avastin. This is the survey. In worldwide also, some uh, most of the countries doctors are using Avastin as a main uh, main uh, treatment injection. <laughs> some in some country it is eighty percent. In USA also it is seventy percent. Correct. In India it is uh, it may be forty percent, fifty percent. Achha. Not more than fifty percent, maybe fifty percent. I think. Okay. <laughs> oh. This is two thousand eighteen data. Two thousand nineteen published in two thousand nineteen, two thousand eighteen data. Uh, I think this will be same in two thousand twenty also. Surgery uh -huh. for sometimes uh, this coronal neovascular membrane did wrap massively, and in that case we have to uh, remove the blood either totally or at least from the center portion. So sometimes we give injection called tissue plasminogen activator to liquefy the blood and give some gas injection inside the eye and maintain the position so that blood from the submacular position uh, get uh, displaced to the non-vital, non-important area, not in the center of the macula. So Correct. sometimes, and if it is a huge blood, sometimes we do surgery and evacuation, but ultimately prognosis become uh, less bad. <coughs> Now, with the, this presentation, short presentation of age-related macular degeneration discussion, what will be the, our take-home message? So, age-related macular degeneration is the problem which starts after 50 years. So, always better to do a periodic annual comprehensive eye examination. Not necessarily to look for glass and cataract, uh, whether there is a cataract or not. No, it's not like that. What is happening in the back of your eyes? Mm -hmm. But a total examination, total eye examination. Yes. More so, if person have some systemic hypertension or his or her parents have history of parent because mm -hmm. there is some genetic predisposition. If father or mother has ARMD, their child uh, uh, has higher chance of ARMD when they get more than 50 years of age. The problem is that Drusen is, is usually asymptomatic unless there is a damage in the center portion of the retina, advanced dry RMD, or there is a wet RMD. RMD may be asymptomatic. So better, if I diagnose RMD at early stage, at least we can modify our lifestyle. We can add antioxidant once daily. Then there is there will be reduced, uh, decreased chances of uh, further deterioration at this. So in heteroneous of vision parts in elderly age group, need not necessarily be because of change in blood power or cataract. Correct. After 50 years, you must undergo one comprehensive examination. If it is normal, then you can give some look, but otherwise periodic examination is must. <coughs> Correct. So earlier the detection and initiation of the treatment, better the vision power. I have told you, so whatever treatment you choose in wet RMD, the early treatment is the most important. You treat it before much damage is there. <laughs> now there are some non-invasive retinal imaging. We can see each and every structure of the retina with some simple investigation. So monitoring of parent is very deep, but easy. Then intravitreal, as I told you, antivasive injection have revolution. It is a blessing to millions of RMD patients around the globe. Mm. Now at least we have injected gallons of injection inside the eye and have saved so much important vision. Mm -hmm. This is a further reminder that tobacco smoking is absolutely no-no. It has been well established and proven to be harmful. 
healthy lifestyle, balanced diet, antioxidant, regular exercise definitely prevent progression of the age-related macular degeneracy. Surgical management are available in selected patients. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. This is the end of the slide. Uh, Subrato, that was a wonderful insight, presentation and insight into ARMD or age-related macular degeneration. I know you are a master and uh, expert in this and you have been treating a ARMD patients successfully for many years. Uh, I wish you all the best. Uh, I wish you all the best among I hope through your hands and through our centers uh, services our obesity ARMD patient ke jodi amra help korte pari before they lose their vision tahale amra amra mone korbo je amader profession e amra kichu korte bhalo korte perechi tai na exactly and, <laughs> and, so the patient er sathe kotha bolle khub koshto hoy ha doctor babu kichui bhalo dekhte pacchi na shurute sei hotat kore ektu porte partam shetao parchi na मन पड़े जरा पिरियडिकेक्शन ठीक मत ना जखन कमे जो तक आसत इंजेक्शन रिग्रेटफुल तो रिग्रेट हार आगे मन Uh, better to take care and better to have a periodic eye checkup to prevent such a happening jate rokom blindness na chole ashe ami ei rokom kotha shunte ki ami ekta kotha boli amar ekta patient ache khub bhalo post e kaj kore sarkari chakri khub sundor ekta choto to armd hoyeche after retirement and ignored it acha unfortunately that armd was the big blood and uh, ultimately when he presented to me Uh, no treatment was possible. Possible. That vision was like the very very less. And okay. other eye, we had just quite a bit started. Acha. We uh, started treatment in 2011. Acha. With antivisive injection. Hmm. Till now, vision is better than 80 percent in that eye. Six okay. by nine. You know what is six by nine? Six by nine is more than 89 percent. Maybe quality of vision is not good, but with your one eye, and you know how much injection I have given to that patient in that eye. <laughs> Sony, fifty-four. Fifty. That is the highest. I have pricked him fifty-four times, and so at least two hundred times OCT has been done. But in from two thousand eleven, two thousand twenty, vision is same stable. See, and that, other, is other, that is one eye patient. Other eye, there is no vision. So a vision is that I see, 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 most of us i mean majhe modhe chinta kore most of us take our vision for granted je vision ta je ekta blessing amader shetai bhule jay to etar care newa ta je koto important seta onek shomoy amra bhule jai je ta care eta true eta true je sometimes cost of the treatment many patient cannot afford uh, we have to think of th that part also ट्रीटमेंट क्यों 
डाक्तरा and they have given they have given tara dai good good very good good subrato it was a nice discussion thank you uh, dr mr <laughs> chalo we'll call it a day uh, sara din tomara khub uh, busy gache klantikar gache we also need some rest in our life uh, before <laughs> and uh, we'll call it a day yeah. all the best subrato thank you very much we are ending this broadcast for today okay yeah sure. Okay